My mom is totally pissed off with me. I stayed out past my curfew and also attended a party that Lord knows she would have never allowed me to go to. Like I said, she's very overprotective. She's afraid that I might get attacked by some crazy man just as she did. She usually doesn't allow me out after sundown unless I'm at my bestie's house. I could have lied and said I was there, but she knows my bestie's mom is out of town for the weekend. When I got home, I tried to sit my mom down and explain to her what happened today, but she was not trying to listen to me. I am now grounded for the entire weekend. How am I supposed to find my bestie now? I know I said that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to find her, but going against my mom will really be the ultimate test of my loyalty to my bestie. I'm beginning to feel hopeless and helpless. I swear I just want to cry myself to sleep. I hope I'll wake up in the morning and everything will be back to normal. There has to be a major lesson to learn behind all of this. Like stranger danger, especially with a cute teenage boy that looks trustworthy. Would Jaden do something like that to me? I'm starting to wonder, but I just can't see it happening. Besides the boy that my bestie was with, I've never seen him before, so I know she hasn't. I wonder if she met him online. What if she was catfished? Okay, I'm thinking too much. Time for me to go to bed. Maybe I can explain to my mom in the morning when she is not so upset. Good night, bestie. Wherever you are, just know that I love you so much. I just woke up from a nightmare. It is now 3.56 in the morning. This nightmare felt so real. It wasn't about my bestie at all. It was about that nasty Rebecca. I caught her having sex with Jaden, and I snapped immediately. I grabbed her by her neck and squeezed until her whole head fell off her body. Jaden was so afraid and upset. He proceeded to curse me out and tell me how crazy I am and how he doesn't even like me. I got so angry I pulled a knife from my purse and stabbed him 37 times. Then suddenly Officer Whitley shows up and tries to arrest me. I managed to grab his gun from his holster and shot him dead in the face. Then my mother came in yelling at me saying I'm grounded for the rest of my life so I also shot her. Then I fled the scene. No matter where I went there were TVs everywhere with news channels casting my photo saying I was wanted for multiple murders. I don't know how many bullets were in that gun, but I shot over 100 TVs until I collapsed and everything went dark. When I opened my eyes, I saw a big red dragon goat-like monster. Everything in my gut was telling me that I've just seen the devil himself. He started to congratulate me on a job well done and offered me a position to work alongside him. He pulled out a contract that was at least 100 feet long. On the contract were the names of everyone who attended the Airbnb party. He wanted me to kill them all for not inviting him to the party, which I thought was weird. Then he told me if I was to honor and complete the task on the contract, he would give me my bestie back safe and sound. The last thing he said was, now let's see if you are really willing to do whatever it takes to get your bestie back. That's when I woke up. I am not going back to bed at all. In fact, I'm going to take a nice cold shower.